the Israeli Air Force has retired its last F-16 Barak-1 fighters which will be replaced by more modern aircraft. The phasing out of F-16C fighters is due to Israel's transition to the more advanced F-35I fighters which have achieved initial operational capability within the Air Force. The Barak-1 era has come to an end with their last single-seat aircraft that faithfully served the Israeli Air Force for more than three and a half decades being decommissioned. This was announced in a statement from the country's Defense Ministry press service. In total, Israel utilized 81 Barak-1 fighters as interceptors, which were responsible for patrolling the country's airspace. The aircraft were part of four combat squadrons as well as the Manat Test Center, Despite retiring the Barak-1 variant, Israel will continue to operate two-seat F-16 fighters in the Sufa version. As of today, Israel operates 91 F-16 fighter jets. These aircraft are primarily used for striking ground targets. To maintain a high level of combat readiness in its air force, Israel is making additional purchases of modern F-35 I fighters. It's worth noting that the Israeli government has ordered an extra 25 F 35 I fighters to form a third combat squadron within the country's aerospace forces. With this addition, Israel will increase its total fleet of F 35 I aircraft to 75 units. The Czech aircraft manufacturer Aero Vodochody unveiled the first L 39 NG aircraft for the Czech Air Force. This was reported on the company's official page on Twitter. The aircraft with tail number 0529 was showcased at the airfield where it completed its maiden flight. This event marked the beginning of preparations for L-39NG aircraft at the Aviation Training Center at Padubica Airfield, where Czech pilots will undergo training. As part of the initial contract, the Czech Air Force will receive two aircraft of this type, with the option to purchase an additional four in the future. The total value of the signed contract is estimated at $90.5 million, which includes manufacturer support for the aircraft and additional equipment. The aircraft themselves cost the Ministry of Defense $56 million. In the Air Force, these aircraft will complement the L-159 trainer aircraft, which have been in use in the Czech Republic since the early 2000s. Besides the Czech Republic, LE-39NG aircraft are currently being built for the Vietnamese Air Force. The first aircraft destined for Vietnam completed its maiden flight in October 2023, taking off from the Aero Vodochody Company's airfield. Vietnam became the pioneering customer for this new aircraft model, aiming to replace their aging fleet of L-39C trainers, which had long been the backbone of the Vietnamese Air Force's training program. Under the contract signed in 2021, Vietnam ordered a total of 12 L-39G aircraft, with delivery expected to be completed by the end of 2024. Beyond the aircraft themselves, the contract includes provisions for spare parts, the development of additional maintenance infrastructure and specialized airfield systems necessary for operating these new planes.